flowing Contugic River just past the bridge between then and now to reach the Peterborough Town Library, standing on the same spot where the foundation of America's public library was built. No membership dues, free and open to everyone. We are the first free tax-supported public library in the nation. In all of America. True. Founded in 1833, but with no building for the books, people checked out the latest literature from the general store. Tell me about the catalog people would get once a year, because that's cool. Yeah, so they would actually print a catalog, and that's probably where card catalog, you know, maybe originates. Each family would receive an annual inventory of books. By 1893, they built the library to house them. This is the original quiet room then and now. Brick and metal still holding strong, that familiar fireplace, the same portraits above it. But this is not your 1800s library anymore. A big addition made room for the modern part of the library, a teen section and community spaces for cupcake wars or yoga class. You can read to a dog, Lily is all ears, or stroll through an art gallery. Who knew a library would have an art gallery? It's a great opportunity. We're a, a space for people. If they explore their public library, they'll probably connect to something that they didn't realize was there for them. And maybe the biggest evolution at this legendary library and others, they've closed the book on silence. Probably every library you visit in New Hampshire is no longer a place where people are going to shush you. That's just not what a library is anymore. We're putting that to the decibel test at the Merrimack Public Library, where yes, the librarians will jam with you. And every one of these instruments is available to borrow from their library of things. This collection is Things that might be a little bit pricier or larger, that something you would use only one or two times a year. And you know, you don't have to store it at your house. We can store it here for you and you can just borrow it. How this works is just take off the tag and bring it to our circulation department and you could take it home with you. Check this out. Puzzles and board games, video games. How about a game of cornhole? You can pick a projector. Radon detector, soil inspector. Maybe you want to be a precious metal collector. You can sign out a karaoke machine. Cake pans in every conceivable holiday shape. Of all things, from the library of things, a power washer. There's a lot. It really has changed from just being a place where you can come and check out a book or, or read in a reading room. You know, the library is for everyone, so we have something in the library for everyone. The library will loan you a sidewalk sign with the alphabet to become an author. Or give night vision goggles a try. They even have an indoor drone that's now been flown inside the library. If someone's looking for something, we would love for them to think of the library first. Minot Sleeper Library in Bristol has expanded since first opening in 1885. Look past the stacks of books you'll find the Get Outdoors backpack available to borrow. A first aid kit, uh, there is a compass and a safety whistle, and one of the most important things, two mosquito nets, a guide to the White Mountains, along with a pass to the New Hampshire State Parks. For stargazing, the New Hampshire Astronomical Society stocks many libraries with telescopes. Put it on a picnic table or on the hood of your car. Everybody can, can have access to those things. It, it really makes it so much more inclusive. The city of Dover, regal in red brick, its public library, a cornerstone of this community, where generations have turned a page or two, also has some new offerings, like the toy library for the little ones, 
pick a bag to take home. Play is the work of childhood. And it's not just about the books. We are not at all quiet, and that's, that's one thing we can want to let people know. It's a place to interact, to talk, you know, to be with friends, and it gets loud, and that's okay. Or say hi to a big blue library bear. So Blueberry was painted by uh, New Hampshire artist Tommy DePaula, and he is our mascot for the children's room. Head upstairs for high tech. Yes, you can 3D print at the library. Parts and playthings, ornaments and office supplies, like a shark pencil holder. You can actually watch what it's doing when it prints layer by layer with this material for a design that they've either come up with or found online. We asked Nick, the systems and technology librarian, to print us a channel nine. So the bed itself is about 50 degrees Celsius, but the tip that's melting the plastic is about 220 degrees Celsius. Wow. For reference, that's 428 degrees Fahrenheit. The material itself doesn't weigh very much. Generally speaking, it's $1.50 per ounce, and most things I make only come out to like 2 or $3 at best. Another reason to check out your local library. It just might be a new chapter for you.